YouTubers. Um, so I went and got my mom and arranged my goodies. Uh, still have yet to find the movie, The Phantom of the Opera. Like, I don't know why I'm having a hard time finding this. This is. Uh, I think I just about looked everywhere for it, and I don't, I don't have time to like order it offline, so. I don't know. I might have to just make a trip without that one and then just get it to her later whenever I find the movie and then I can, you know, give it to her. But I was going to show you what I got her. Um, first thing I got her because she's like obsessed with her face. Oh, like I'm obsessed with my hair, she's obsessed with her face. Um, this right here. I don't think she has one. And there's like spinner thingy majiggies. As a, as a, I don't know. Um, kind of like a Mio. So I figured she'd probably like that. And then it was hard to find her a butterfly shirt that was purple, but somehow I managed to find it. Uh, that's it's pretty awesome. Like, but it was so plain, and I was like, okay, well, mom likes slut clothes. She likes slut clothes. Um. I was like, okay, well, I gotta make it show a little more skin than, like, a regular t-shirt. Let me kind of, like, spread this out. <laughs> so, yeah. Originally, it's like that. And it had sleeves, so I took off the sleeves. And then I did all of this to it to make it look cool. So, hopefully, she'll, like, well, I, mean, I know she will. So I kind of pretty much will read it out for her and yeah. And the next thing, which cost, this really cost me. Uh, but I'm glad I did it. This is like crazy. <laughs> that. This is like pure amethyst. It's like a whole geode just about. <laughs> It's a big chunk of a geode, at least. And she loves stones, so and this is her favorite. So I think she'll really like this. <laughs> I kind of want to keep it. I'm like, oh wow, this is really pretty. But uh, no, this is her favorite, so. Yeah. I figured I'd do something super nice for her, you know. Like I said, people not in your life forever, and I'm slowly learning that. I mean, when I moved to Mobile, I left a lot of friends behind, so they're not really in my life much anymore. My family's not much in my life anymore either, because they're not near, and then, um, yeah. <laughs> and then even now, you know, like, Boyfriends don't last, obviously. <laughs> I think I had the right idea. Maybe it was just fucking a bunch of people. What are... That's kind of what caused it. So maybe that's not the right idea to go about it, but I don't know. So that didn't last. And then, um... and then people die, you know? So it's like things just don't last. And I'm kind of used to like losing animals. That's kind of a regular for me. Because, uh, you know, I own animals, you own animals, you lose animals. But I really just don't want to, like, I don't want to lose another mom, you know? Like, I already, like, lost one, and this is going to be the second. So, while she's here on Earth, I want to make it, like, the best that it can be, and... I almost feel like guilty like for thinking like you know suicidal thoughts and stuff because I mean yeah I know it would cause people pain I'm very aware of that even family but I think they would get over it too and, and move on you do with most things in life and uh you know with her having a short life like really that's like the last thing I, I would want to do you know I don't want to just, like, leave her to herself. This is, you know. And then she, she would be very sad, even though she knows she would see me soon. It would just be like, you know, 
why why do it to her? You know, she didn't have much time. The last thing I do is just make the last bit of her years horrible. So I guess the thing I could do is make the last bit of her years wonderful and get my ass out to Vegas and get that apartment, move her in or whatever. And you know, do what I gotta do, you know. Suck it up. Suck up life. <laughs> I really don't want to suck up life. That's the last thing I want to do right now. Because I'm just, I, anything, I just want to get away. I just want to run, run far, far away, maybe jump off a cliff. That's how I feel half the time. But, um, you know, she needs me right now, and right now she has no one either. You know, Dream is caught up in school, Eric's moved away. I'm moved away too, but I'm like the closest and I'm not tied over with kids or anything, so. Yeah. I'm just glad I could do something for her. Probably take her to a movie, probably out to eat. Just trying to think of everything I could do. And then my roommate was being a jackass. Like, oh, just go buy her crack pot. And I'm like, no, you know, we're trying to promote her fucking health because she's dying. The last thing I want to do is fucking, here, mom, here's a crack pipe so you can smoke your way to your death. I'd rather not go out like that, but it would surprise me if she did. Um, yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm, just, I'm happy that she's still here and I'm happy that at least I have the heads up. Because I'd rather have the heads up than know, than not know when it happens so suddenly. That's what happened to my first mom. I had no idea. So there was no time to go do stuff for her, to spend moments in the park, to uh, take her out to eat and do things for her. Like, there was just, there was no time. I just got a call. She was in the hospital, and then the next moment she passes away. You know, it's like, that's no way to spend the last moments of someone's life in the hospital. So... That's why, you know, I really want to get my time in right now, because this, this might be all I get, you know? And it kind of scares me, too, because with heart problems in the family, I mean, what does that mean for me later on down the road? Ugh. I think if I was in my mom's shoes... I would just already, like, go buy a gun and pull the trigger and be like, fuck this. I am not going to go to a hospital. I'm not going to have surgery. I'm not going to go through this. Nope, nope. I'm taking the easy way out, motherfucker. Hand me the gun. <laughs> but then again, maybe call it cowardice. Or maybe call it brave. Because I, I think it takes a lot of guts to pull the trigger. So, I don't blame her for not wanting the surgery. Not like she could have it, she's too weak to, she won't survive. But I don't blame her for not wanting to, you know, die in a hospital and not wanting to go through a surgery. I mean, if it comes down and something like that happens to me, I mean, fuck. I don't want someone trying to keep me alive or anything. It's horrible. I just hate how America is like that, you know? It's like, well, this person's dying and we know their chances of living is... Pretty much nothing, but we're going to continue to make them hold on anyway. Why prolong someone's suffering? It's like, fucked up. Like, that's, that's cruel. That's really cruel. So, but my mom, I don't think, is suffering. I don't know if she's in pain or not. I haven't, she doesn't know. I know she, I don't know all the details. I'm not sure if she does have, like, heart pains or what, so... Very frustrating right now. I'm very frustrated. God. I just feel like all sorts of shit's happening. Rain the pores. So anyway. Yeah. So peace. And remember, you know spend time as much time as you can with loved ones. Like I said. People come and go. Life is a puff of smoke. Shit happens, you know? And when it does, you may never get that chance to say goodbye. So, take advantage of it, you know? And that's what I'm having to do. That's what I will do.
How's everyone out there? Kind of, sort of. Hey, boy. How do I? And sometimes I tell the truth, and sometimes I lie. I don't know. I contradict with myself a lot between love and hate. Do I hate people? Do I love people? Do I hate people? Do I love people? Okay, I hate a lot of people, but I love a little few people. I'll get on another topic.